Matthew Mead was a very popular independent Puritan divine in his day. He was well-known, well-respected, a very studious preacher, and a very powerful preacher. He was a lecturer at Stepney, along with many other of the popular Puritans of the day. We've published a few of his works, but in this new one, it's a special treatment, a, a unique treatment of sin. Every Reformed Christian, they say, I understand the tea of tulip. I understand what total depravity means. I understand the wickedness of my heart. But Matthew Mead is going to show us that we don't necessarily know the depth of that. In a unique manner in this particular work, he being present at the great plague in London in 1665, where over a hundred thousand people died, used that particular providence to exhort sinners towards repentance and to exhort Christians to repent of their besetting and secret sins. Why? Because he wanted us to understand the depth of our depravity in this new work called The Discovery of Wickedness in Our Heart. And not only does he just want us to know about it, but, he, but in this book he uniquely demonstrates that the reason God brought this plague upon London and killed so many people was in judgment against sin. And he shows different kinds of sins that were prevalent in his day that brought about such a great and devastating plague. Such things like drunkenness and swearing and profaning the Lord's day and false doctrine. You might say, well, wait, those things, among others like lying and cheating, those are the things that we do today. Well, that's Matthew Mead's point, is that any time in the history of the church when God brings upon these great judgments upon the church and those around us, there's a reason for it. And generally, as we look biblically through Scripture, it's because of sin. So he explains each one of these sins and exhorts those who are partaking in those sins to repent of them. For without that kind of repentance, God will not lift that plague. If we look around even today, even in the last 50 years, we find many plagues where not 15,000 or 20,000 or 100,000, but 7.5 million or 12 million people were killed because of the flu influenza in 2010. Matthew Mead shows why God's judgment comes upon us in those ways, and it's all because of the wickedness of our heart. You hear a lot of Reformed Christians say, well, yes, God is judging America. Well, are you part of that judgment? Are you pointing that finger back towards yourself? Are you saying, the judgment of God has come upon America, but repentance needs to begin with me? Matthew Mead shows you why that should be the case. This book is available right now at the Puritan Shop. Go to www.puritanshop.com for more information on this title, both in ebook and in print form. And may the Lord bless you as you struggle through the doctrine of sin, those bosom sins that you hold in your heart, and let Matthew Mead exhort you to repentance that you might be changed into the image of our beloved Savior and His likeness, Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you as you study along with Matthew Mead.